Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Python video. In the last video, we talked about designing and the steps we would use to carry out creating a pattern of X's. And remember that pattern started with one X, then two X's, then three, and so on. So now we're going to implement that. And I don't know what we're going to need for size, but let's start with a size of 10. And if we change that, that would change the number of rows and asterisks on each row as we go through the loop. And I've got a for loop started, say X in range size. Remember, if we just use the range command, it will start with 0, then 1. And in this case, if the size is 10, it will end at 9. So our x value, our starting value, is 0 through 9. Well, maybe x is not the best name for it. Remember we said that it would be good to name things that are more representative of what they contain. So instead of this, why don't we call it row? For row inside in the range of size, what are we going to do? Well, we need to print our asterisks. We need to go in and start printing our asterisks. And I'm going to just go ahead and put a comment here. Now, how do we print the asterisks? Well, we said we need to, needed to develop a group of asterisks so that they started out with one asterisk on the first row, two asterisks on the second, and because our print statement always puts in a carriage return moves to the next line, we need to build a string of those asterisks prior to printing them. How can we build a string of asterisks? Now remember that we can concatenate a string, so if we maybe had a string that had one asterisk, and then we concatenated it with another string, and I know this isn't valid code, I'm just illustrating, that was equal to the first string, the first asterisk, plus another asterisk, that would give us a string of two asterisks. So we can go in and somehow create this string of asterisks. Well, that sounds like the other for loop. So we're going to have another for loop inside of the first one. And let's call that column or just col for column, in some range. We need to determine what that range would be. And we need to build the asterisk, so let's say we have a variable star. Notice that I'm getting a red line. What did I forget? Up on the previous line, I forgot my colon. So put my colon here, and now I've still got a red line with star. Well, that could mean that star is not defined yet, which it hasn't been. Let's say star equals to star plus the string that's an asterisk. Now our red lines go away because star has been defined. Star is going to be the previous value of star plus or concatenated with an asterisk. And so each time it goes through this column, it's going to add an asterisk to star. We may have to come back and do something else in this loop, but let's go and say after we finish the loop, what are we going to do? We're going to print. star. So we'll print the variable star. Now if we left it in the loop, and let's go ahead and leave it in the loop, 
the first time and see what happens. Now, I don't have anything in for the range yet. Just to see what's hap going to happen now, I'm going to put a constant in of 2. We know the program will not run correctly, but we want to see what it's going to do. When we run it, notice we get a traceback error on that line 12 with a star, and it says star is not defined. If we look here, it was highlighted, so it's telling us, the, the syntax checking here is telling us it's not defined. We need to define it before we use it on the right-hand side. So where would we do that? If we were to define it inside of this four, now that line goes away, but what's going to happen? Every time we start at the top of this for loop, it's going to redefine star as an empty string. Then it's going to be an empty string plus an asterisk. Print one asterisk, and then come back an empty string plus an asterisk. So that doesn't seem like that's going to work, and it won't. So let's move that, and let's place it up here. Now we've defined star before we went into the for loop as an empty string. We go into our for loop. We take the value of star, which is an empty string. We add an asterisk to it, and then we're printing it. Again, we said we don't think that's the right place, and it's not. When I run it, I don't get a syntax error, but I get a series of one star, two star, one star, two star. Let's see what's happening. My sizes start with zero, comes in here. It sets the empty string. Then it says for column in range two, star equals star plus star, or asterisk, Star was the empty string, so that's one asterisk. It prints the one asterisk. Comes up now. Column becomes two. Star is equal to star, which is one asterisk, plus another asterisk. Comes up here to this four again. Now column is equal to one. Star is equal to star plus an asterisk. Star was one asterisk, now it's concatenated to two asterisks. It prints the two asterisks. Prints here. Now we've finished with this for loop. It's at its end of its range. Come back up here. Row increments by one. Star is reset to the empty string. Comes down in here. Column is zero. Star becomes the empty string plus an asterisk, prints the one asterisk here. Comes up, column becomes one, adds another asterisk, the two, and resets itself. And part of the reason it's resetting itself there is because this print statement is the wrong location, is in the wrong location. Now when I move the print statement out to the outer for loop, let's see how this changes. Now, we're getting two asterisks each time. We're getting two asterisks because this range is not changing. It comes down. It goes into the for loop. The star which starts out as the empty string. It gets one asterisk. Comes through the loop again. Concatenates. And gets the second asterisk. And then comes out of the, this inner loop and prints the two asterisks, then it comes back up and starts over. So we need to work on this range. The range needs to start at 1. The range needs to go until we get to the number of asterisks we want to print and it will increment by one. So it looks like this range command is going to take two parameters. Now the first time through 
the range, we need to go how many times? Well, we need to go through it one time. But how do we know? Well, we know the size is 10. And if we did one size, it would start at 1. And it would go through size that number of times. In this ca case, it will go through it over and over again. In this case, it would start at 1 and go to 9. So that's not going to work. What if instead we figured out a different ending value? What if it was size minus the row number? Now, if the row is zero, it would be one to size minus zero. And that doesn't seem right because the first time through it would do how many asterisks? It would do nine asterisks. So that's not going to work. What if we started instead at something other than one? What if we started at size? Well, a starting value of size and an ending value of size, it will never go into the loop. But what if we subtracted the row value? Now, if the row is 1, what will the size be? Now, if the row is 1, size minus row would be 9. If the row is 2 size minus row would be 8. So if we started at 8 and went to size, we would do one asterisk. If row is 3 and we size minus row, that would be 7, so we'd do 7 and 8. Well, we think maybe this has got it. I'm not sure. Well, let's run it and see. And as we run through, I've got one star, two stars, three stars, up through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars. So using a size of 10, it looks like this is right. One problem with it right now is it actually is going to print a blank line before the first asterisk, and that is when row is zero, Size minus row is still size, and it doesn't go in. So what if I started size at 1? Now run it, and I get rid of that blank line. Now, in our case, that blank line was not important, didn't really matter, but that would get rid of the blank line. So now we're going to start the range, start row at 1 for the first row, and go until it's size. So it's going to go 1 through 9. It's going to set star to an empty string. It's going to go into the inner loop and set column equal to the range of size minus row. When size minus row is 1, this would be, in this case, 9. Size is 10. Go till 10. So it go through one time. And it will say star is equal to star plus the asterisk. Well, star started is the empty string. If row is 2, it would come in. It would do a range of size minus row, 10 minus 2, which is 8. Go 8 to 10, so it would do the star the first time is equal to the asterisk because it started at the empty string. Then the second time through, it would add a second asterisk, and it continues until it gets the ending gets to the ending value. If we wanted a bigger triangle, if we made this say uh, twenty and run it, now we get a triangle 
that goes from 1 to 19. If we actually wanted 20 asterisks, we would put a 21 here. So here, we took an idea, we talked through what we might need to do, do did some planning, then we implemented. And here is our finished program. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.